universe is almost 14 billion years old, an inconceivable length of time by human standards. Yet, compared to some physical processes, it is but a moment. There are radioactive nuclei that decay on much longer timescales. An international team of scientists has now directly measured the rarest decay process ever recorded in a detector. Using the Xenon 1 ton detector, which mainly searches for dark matter at the INFN Grand Sasso National Laboratory, the researchers were able to observe the decay of Xenon 124 atomic nuclei for the first time. The half life of the process is the time after which half of the radioactive nuclei present in a sample have decayed away. The half life measured for Xenon 124 is about 1 trillion times longer than the age of the universe. The results were published in the science journal Nature. Some of you may rightly ask, why is this important? Well, besides the fact that it is an awesome achievement to have measured a lifetime of 1.8, 10 to the 22 years, this shows how Xenon 1 ton, primarily built to directly detect the dark matter, is also able to measure other rare physical phenomena which require a clean, basically radioactive free detector. Natural xenon has 54 protons and 77 neutrons, but it also comes in another 8 isotopes, among which xenon 124, which has 54 protons but only 70 neutrons. One ton of natural xenon contains approximately 1 kilogram of xenon 124. Xenon 124 decays to tellurium 124 by a double electron capture. Two protons in the nucleus simultaneously catch two electrons from the innermost atomic shell, transform into two neutrons and emit two neutrinos. The other atomic electrons reorganize themselves to fill in the two holes in the innermost shell. The energy released in this process is carried away by X-rays and so-called OJ electrons. The X-rays from the double electron capture in the liquid zinc produce an initial light signal as well as free electrons. The electrons move towards the gas field upper part of the detector where they generate a second light signal. The time difference between the two signals corresponds to the time it takes for the electrons to reach the top of the detector. We use this interval and the information provided by the sensors measuring the signals to reconstruct the position of the double electron capture. The energy released in the decay was derived from the strength of the two signals. All signals from the detector were recorded over a period of more than one year. However, without looking at them at all, as the experiment was conducted in a blind fashion, to ensure that personal expectation did not bias the outcome of the study. Thanks to the detailed understanding of all relevant sources of background signals, it became clear that the 126 observed events in the data were indeed caused by the double electron capture of xenon 124. While two neutrinos are emitted in the double electron capture process, we can now also search for the so-called neutrino-less double electron capture, which could shed light on important questions regarding the nature of neutrinos. Xenon 1 ton acquired data from 2016 until December 2018, when it was switched off. We are currently upgrading the experiment for the new Xenon N ton phase, which will feature a three times larger active detector mass. Together with a reduced background level, this will boost the detector sensitivity by an order of magnitude. Will we find dark matter? Stay tuned and follow us on Twitter.